Number eight, how much would the temperature of a 275 gram of water increase if 36.5 kilojoules of heat were added? Okay, so they gave us a mass, right? 275 grams of water, right? So I'm assuming that we're talking about H2O liquid, okay? So they would have said like ice, I, I'm assuming if they wanted to do, you know, solid, H2O solid. So they gave us a mass and they're telling us that we have 36.5 kilojoules, KJ is kilojoules of heat. A heat value is a Q value. So they gave us an M, right? A mass of 275 grams, right? They gave us a Q and they're asking for, you know, a temperature. So I think of a formula in which I can relate a Q with the T and an M. And there's one formula that I'm thinking of. Is there one formula you guys are thinking of? And that's this one. I'm going to put this over here. Q equals MS delta T. Now, um, some classes or some professors or some teachers might say Q equals MC delta T. It really does not matter. I just use S because there is a capital C for a different uh, unit. It's heat capacity. So I don't like to mix up my C's with my S's. But if you want to do MC delta T, that's fine with me. It's the same formula. But anyway, let's go over it. Q, just like we said, is the heat energy. It's the heat required to, and I'll say heat energy. It's, it's basically the heat required to increase a temperature. How much you know, heat do I need to increase a temperature of a certain substance? If you're using this formula, it has to be in joules. M is a mass. And if I'm using this formula, it has to be in grams. S or C, whichever one you want to use, is the specific, I just like to use S because for specific, uh, is the specific heat of the certain element, compound, or molecule that you're working with. Specific heats are going to be in joules per gram degrees Celsius. In this case, we're talking about water, H2O liquid. Now, they didn't tell us a specific heat of the water. Some professors or teachers make you memorize that specific heat. They usually only make you memorize the water one. But I put it down here for you guys. It's 4.184, all right? And that's only for liquid water. This is not the same number for solid water. Delta T, the triangle T, triangle is delta. It's just coming from, I, I believe, the Greek alphabet. The delta T talks about a change in temperature. And in this case... It has to be in degrees Celsius, so you do not need to uh, change to Kelvin at all during this formula. All right, so no changing to Kelvin in this formula. Now let's see. The question is saying, how much would the temperature increase? So if they're asking for an increase in temperature, right, that's a change. Right? How much would the temperature increase? How much does it change? Increase is just another way for saying change. In this case, they gave you more information. We know that the temperature is going to go up. It's going to increase. But overall, it's still a change. So we're solving for delta T, which means that we should know the three other ones. We should know a Q, an M, and an S. So let's see. Do we know a Q? Well, yeah, they said 36.5 kilojoules of heat. So the Q is this value. However, when we're using this, it has to be in joules. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert 36.5 kilojoules into joules. So KJ into J. How do I do that? Well, it's a simple conversion. I put a trick down here for you guys. If you have kilojoules, which is what we have, and we want to go to joules, right? We're going this direction, right? We're starting at kilojoules and we're going to joules. All you have to do is take that kilojoule value and times it by a thousand. So all I have to do is take the 36.5 and times it by a thousand. Similarly, you can take the decimal and move it to the right three spots and fill in the uh, place markers with zeros. You'll get the same number. 
So 36.5 times 1,000 is roughly 36,500. Not roughly, exactly, right? So that's joules. And that's now my Q value. Okay, so Q equals, I'll just put it up here, Q equals M S delta T. My Q is 36,500. I don't put the units because if I know that I have the correct unit, I can just plug in the number. So I don't, I don't put in my units. My mass has to be in grams. They told us the correct unit, 275. So 275 times the S, specific heat. That's the number that was required from your knowledge, right? Or if you're using a table or you looked it up, it's 4.184. And now I'm just solving for the change in the temp, the delta T. So you could keep it as delta T. I just like to simplify all my variables, variables by just timesing by X, right? And then I just say, okay, well, what was X? Okay, it was delta T. So let's do the algebra. 36,500 equals, I'll multiply those three numbers, 275 times 4.184. I get... 1,150.6, and that's now being multiplied by x. If I want to solve for x, I will divide by 1,150.6 on both sides, and I'll get my answer. This will cancel, and now I'm left with x, which was my delta t, so that's my change in temp, 36,500 divided by the 1,150.6. And if we play the sig fig game, I should have three sig figs. So I'll say 31.7. And the unit of delta T is the uh, degree Celsius. And that's my final answer. My delta T, my change in temperature would be 31.7 degrees Celsius. So how much would the temperature increase right, of this amount of water, it would increase by 31.7 degrees Celsius. Now, I don't know the start and the end, right? I don't know the starting temp and the ending temp. All I know is that from the start to the end, I went up 31.7 degrees Celsius. So I could have started at 1 degrees Celsius and ended at 32.7. I could have started at 2 degrees Celsius and ended at 33.7. The only thing that I can tell is that I know that I increased by 31.7 degrees Celsius, and that's the, that's the answer to the question, all right, just to kind of put it into context, all right? So that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Give this video a like. Thumbs it up. <laughs> Thumbs it up. Uh, and yeah, subscribe to the channel if you like. If not, that's okay. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. I hope you have a great day. All right, bye.